Hey hey guys, it's your boy Outdoor Native and today we're looking at how you can save your Puff LiPo batteries. As you can see the size difference there. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. But first I want to apologize for my um, YouTube hiatus. I haven't, I've not i been off YouTube for a few months now and just uh, life's gotten in the way. So I apologize for that. But I'm going to be start making some videos really soon. Alright. So how do you save a Traxxas battery that won't charge? So the Traxxas ID batteries are special because as we all know, you plug them in and you press go because of the ID technology. Now, I thought that was great until this problem came up. I let my battery go a little undercharged, so when I plugged it in, it wouldn't charge it because it was saying that it was a little bit too low. And to save it, what you can do is you can charge it on NIM. The problem was is because it's a Traxxas ID battery, it wouldn't let me switch it to NIM mode to charge it just for a minute to get the voltage up. So, most people have these chargers, and I thought, oh, it's a Traxxas plug, right? I can just plug it right in. But no, Traxxas was smart. And they... All right, so what Traxxas did here is, as you can see, it has this little tiny, like, piece right here, the plastic piece. So that will not let you plug it into your NIM charger, as you can see right here. It won't go in. It's not going to fit, because that little plastic piece blocks it. So what you have to do to be able to plug it in on the NIM charger is you pull out a pretty smooth file, and then see how this one no longer has that. See that? You can see the little uh, fray mark, actually. But yeah, Let me see if I can put these side by side real quick. Alright, there you go. See that? How that little plastic piece is cut out? And that allowed me to get the voltage up. So that now saved this battery. And it's now usable. Now, I wouldn't recommend using it just because it's puffed and it's towards the end of its life. Um, I use this battery for very, very light duty. Just kind of like driving around the yard for practicing for um, little kids that I sometimes let, like little neighborhood kids that I let my... Um, that I let them use my RC cars once in a while. So this is the battery I let them use. And as you can see, the size comparison is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't recommend driving it, but this is how to save your Traxxas LiPo battery. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Alright, see you on the next one.